you are welcome to my another session of cytology class the topic of discussion is cell division with reference to cell cycle and mitosis growth and reproduction are characteristics of cells indeed of all living organisms and all cells reproduce by dividing into two with each parental cell giving rise to two daughter cells each time they divide these newly formed daughter cells can themselves grow and divide giving rise to a new cell population it is formed by the growth and division of a single parental cell and its progeny in other words such cycles of growth and division allow a single cell to form a structure consisting of millions of cells cell division is a very important process in all living organisms during the cell division the dna replication cell growth also takes place and all these processes like cell division dna replication cell growth must take place in a coordinated way to ensure correct division and formation of progeny cells containing intact genomes what do you mean by a cell cycle a series of events leading to the formation of a new cell is known as cell cycle the phenomenal changes leading to the formation of new population takes place in a cell cycle the series of events include several phases it is the sequence of events by which a cell duplicates its genome synthesizes the other constituents of the cell and eventually divides into two daughter cells although cell growth in terms of cytoplasmic increase is a continuous process dna synthesis occurs only during a specific stage in the cell cycle the replicated chromosomes are then distributed to daughter nuclei by a complex series of events during cell division and these events are themselves under genetic control phases of cell cycle different kinds of cells have varied duration of for cell cycle phase eukaryotic cell divides every 24 hours however this duration of cell cycle can vary from organism to organism and from cell type to cell type yeast for example can progress through the cell cycle in only about 90 minutes the cell cycle is divided into two basic phases that is interphase and m phase in interphase this is also called as the resting phase and this is the time during which the cell is preparing for division by undergoing both cell growth and dna replication in an orderly manner the interphase is divided into three further phases that is g1 phase or gap 1 phase s phase or synthesis phase and thirdly g2 phase or gap 2 phase m phase that is the mitosis phase the interphase represent the phase between two successive m phases the m phase starts with the nuclear division corresponding to the separation of daughter chromosomes that is karyokinesis and usually ends with the division of cytoplasm that is cytokinesis in cell cycle 95% of spent for interphase whereas the mitosis and cytokinesis is lost only for an hour what are all the events which occurs during different phases and these phases which are also called as 
checkpoints in the cell cycle. During G1 phase, the cell grows due to active biosynthesis and formation of structural and functional proteins takes place. At the same time, synthesis of mRNA, tRNA as well as ribosomal RNA occurs. In the second phase, that is the S phase or synthetic phase, replication of DNA occurs as well as synthesis of histone protein takes place which covers the DNA. In the G2 phase, the RNA and proteins are synthesized. At the same time, synthesis of spindle proteins occurs. M phase or mitotic phase that is also called as equational division. Since the number of chromosomes in the parent and progeny cells is the same, it is also called as equational division. Though for the convenience, mitosis has been divided into four stages of nuclear division that is karyokinesis. It is very essential to understand that cell division is a progressive process and a very clear cut lines cannot be drawn between various stages. The karyokinesis involves the four important stages and they are prophase, metaphase, anaphase and tetophase. So this is the light micrograph of a root tip cell squash preparation from onion that is allium sepa showing cell division that is mitosis. From the top left to bottom right, the chromosomes condense and appear as long thread like structures that is the prophase. Then they align along the center of the cell which forms the metaphase and each chromosome consists of two identical sister chromatids that separate and are pulled to opposite ends of the cell which forms anaphase. The nuclear membrane then form around the two daughter nuclei as the chromosomes decondense and it forms the telophase. Now the important characteristic features of prophase. It is the first visible stage in karyokinesis. The chromosomes appear as long coiled threads called chromatids. The chromatid becomes shorter, thicker and visible due to the condensation of DNA. The chromatins are now called as chromosomes. Stainability of the nucleus increases. Each chromosome starts to split longitudinally into two sister chromatids. These sister chromatids are attached with each other at centromere. The nuclear membrane and nucleolus starts to disappear and by the end it will be completely disappeared. In metaphase, nuclear membrane and nucleolus completely disappears and simultaneously appearance of spindle fibers takes place. And spindle fibers are attached to the centromere of the chromosome. The chromosomes are arranged on the equatorial plane. The process of gathering of chromosomes in the equator is called as congression and the plate form is called as metaphase plate. In anaphase, the centromere of each chromosome splits into two sister chromatids and forms two daughter chromosomes. The daughter chromosomes are pulled towards the poles due to the contraction of spindle fibers and stretching of interzonal fibers. During plural movement, the chromosomes shows the different shapes 
लाइक जे यू वी एल और आई शेप इन अपियरेंस एंड दिस इज बेस्ड ऑन द पोजिशन ऑफ द सेंट्रोमियर एट द एंड ऑफ द एन ऑफ एज ईच पोल विल गेट वन सेट ऑफ डॉटर क्रोमोजोम्स इट इज द शॉर्टेस्ट फेज एंड इज ऑल्सो नोन एज माइग्रेटरी फेज टीलोफेज At this phase, the daughter chromosomes reach respective poles and uncoil and become thin, long, and visible. The spindle fibers start disappearing and finally disappears. The nuclear membrane and nucleolus reappear. The two nuclei are formed at the end of telophase. Both the nuclei have the same number of chromosomes. at the top parental cell it is the last visible stage of karyokinesis and is also known as reorganization phase cytokinesis cytokinesis is the division of the cytoplasm in the cells cytokinesis occurs by cell plate formation that represents the middle lamella between the walls of two adjacent cells at the time of cytoplasmic division organelles like mitochondria and plastids get distributed between two daughter cells these granular matrix forms the cell plate this plate divide the cell and by the end of telophase cytokinesis is completed in some organisms karyokinesis is not followed by cytokinesis as a result of which a multinucleate condition is formed for example a liquid endosperm in coconut significance of mitosis mitosis produces two genetically identical cells so mitosis maintains the genetic stability of organisms the dna remains constant so mitosis keeps the chromosome number constant in a species it helps in the development of multicellular organisms mitosis helps to replacement of old dead and damaged cells by new one it helps in the recovery of wounds and injury of the body by the formation of new cells in unicellular organisms like yeast paramecium mitosis is a means of asexual reproduction mitosis causes maturation and multiplication of germ cells and makes them ready for meiosis